Hi, welcome to What's to Eat. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in healthy and nutritious, wonderful foods and delights. Today I'm joined by the amazing Amant and his chef Steve, and they're going to do a wonderful presentation on some great organic and fresh foods. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure being here. Oh, thank you so much. So you're going to show us today um, an appetizer? Yes, we're going to yes. show two kind of dishes we have from the menu. Well, one appetizer is, uh, we call burrata tower. Mm -hmm. uh, we start with uh, fresh baby arugula. Uh, we put some Belgian endive. Wonderful, great fiber and, and, and healthy antioxidants. We have... Uh, Fresh Harlem tomatoes. Also wonderful. High in lycopenes and uh, great vitamin A and C. And my favorite. Burrata mozzarella. I had the wonderful pleasure, chef, of trying your amazing burrata tower. Um, and it was absolutely exquisite. Fresh, delicious. Um, Every single bite was just delectable, wonderful. And being a nutritionist, I love the idea that everything is fresh and organic um, and, uh, and takes into account all these wonderful edibles. And we have uh, also, uh, we have uh, roasted uh, red bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Yes. We finished with... Uh, figs. Figs. Which are always Cold amazing. figs. High and also we have uh, fig leaves. Fig we finish with the fig glaze, homemade. Homemade. And what, homemade. Is, what is in the fig glaze? Just figs? It's fig, a reduction, a little touch of balsamic vinegar. That's what I tasted, yes. Uh, yes. This is the dish looks like. Yes. And, uh, and uh, it's absolutely wonderful. Very thank nutritious. you, Linda. And as you know, we only work with uh, organic ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all about using organic products. Mm -hmm. We try to buy locally as much mm -hmm. as we can. Mm -hmm. So as Chef said, Everything is in here is organic. Everything, it's homemade. Mm -hmm. It's all about healthy products and sure. healthy food. And, it, and it's wonderful to know with both my offices and all my patients that there's a place they can go where they can have something. And I had the wonderful pleasure of tasting your amazing tower and loved every single bite of it as being very healthy as well as uh, nutrient dense and protein, having wonderful fiber and being organic. And also your food is gluten free, which is very important. Thank you, Linda. I would say around 70% of our gluten, of our menu, it's a gluten free. Wonderful. The reason right. why we use gluten free is it's healthier. Mm -hmm. It's enjoyable. It doesn't sure. matter how much you eat. Sure. You still feel good. Right. And, and I, and I do feel after tasting your wonderful foods is that you put a tremendous amount of care into everything you present and everything you have in your restaurant. And uh, everything is, is extreme. Part of the process of eating healthy is taking into account the aroma and the colors, and the flavors. And this is an extremely lovely presentation of something that takes into account texture and color and flavor. And in, from a nutritional standpoint, it's not highly caloric. And you're getting a lot for something that uh, that's just so delectable and delicious. Thank Absolutely you, thank wonderful. You, thank you. Yeah. And, and even with the peppers, which are high in vitamin A and vitamin C, this is absolutely wonderful. And I would recommend it to anyone who was uh, trying to find something that is uh, a restaurant that provides into account gluten-free, as well as low-calorie, low-carbohydrate, but at the same time, a beautiful dining ambience and environment. Absolutely phenomenal and wonderful, wonderful foods. Thank absolutely, you. Thank you, Linda. Absolutely you. terrific. Wonderful. So we have something else. What do we have now? Wow, that looks really delicious. Can you tell us, Chef? What yes, we have mahi-mahi uh, mahi, uh -huh. as a main course. Uh, right. Mahi-mahi fish with uh, tiger Mexican shrimp. We make, uh, we pan sear it with herbs. And what kind of herbs is that? It's uh, rosemary, fresh thyme. And uh, there is salt and pepper. Now, I think, uh, I don't know, many people know that mahi-mahi... Ma um, is extremely low in calories. A three ounce piece has a hundred calories. It's phenomenal with uh, 
Great and, quality fat. And all the all the fish that we use, it's not farm raised; they're all wild. So this wild. mahi is a wild. Extremely important. The shrimp is a Me it's a Me comes from Mexico. It's, right. it's called a Mexican tiger shrimp. We're gonna use in our organic baby spinach. Wonderful. Fingerling potatoes. And. Uh, Carrots. And you have a lovely assortment of very colorful carrots there. Are yes, they different they types of They're called rainbow breeds? baby carrots. Really? Which is very tasty, very sweet. So it's, uh, Interesting. And I also forget to mention something which is very important. Yeah. For the sows that the chef does, uh -huh. everything is in healthy there, everything is in natural. So what he does, he makes a lobster clam roasted tomatoes broth. Wow. Sounds wonderful. All fresh. All fresh. All are all organic, everything from scratch, everything which is the scratch. way we should eat, eating real. That's wonderful. Yes, what we do, we saute spinach with garlic and oil. And you have a very special way of sauteing that, because I had the pleasure yes. of having some of that. We put the rainbow spinach. Baby carrots. Mm -hmm. Orange and yellow, which is great antioxidants and fingerling potatoes. Fingerling potatoes? Yes. Yeah. Lovely. We put the fish. Put the shrimp. The fish. And then we put the clam and lobster broth with roasted vegetables. Absolutely exquisite. And one of the one of the things about it is that is that you can see, I'm always saying as a nutritionist, that it's extremely important that you have something nutrient-dense that has color, texture, and flavor. Um, and it's all taken into account here, and that's what this amazing restaurant does. It has color, it has antioxidants, it has flavor and texture, everything fresh. And you can see how unbelievable this is. It's a very healthy fish, it's low-calorie, it's high in wonderful fats, and, and just exceptional. And all of the dishes are that way. Um, and I can see here you have some fresh things here. We have fresh ginger, which everyone knows is very good for digestion. And here's some more of your carrots. Some more of the carrots. Right. And our tomatoes, again, are fresh and organic. And it, it's a wonderful, unbelievable experience in eating healthy, nutritious, nutrient-dense, organic, natural foods. This is, uh, it's no wine. When, it, when I make this, juice, this sauce mm -hmm. with roasted vegetables and everything, right. no wine, no liquor there. It's all natural. It's, uh, wow. That's why we're yes. trying to stay away from... Takes into account. Tennis. And yeah. your, your spinach was lovely. It really uh, it kept the flavor yes. and the texture, but it had a buttery feel to it. See, mm -hmm. I experienced that because I, as a person, mm -hmm. I, my uh, boyfriend and I cook from scratch mm -hmm. everything. Yes. And we're not like you, mm -hmm. but we cook everything from scratch. And color, texture, flavor, mm -hmm. the whole yes. experience I learned from my family from Norway, as well as Eric did from his family um, mm -hmm. in background France, that you, you, it's an experience. It is. Yeah. It is an experience. And it's a total experience. Absolutely. And that's what I want to show for people that need to find healthy foods this is where, here's where to go. Yeah. Here's what to find. So what's your ma favorite, favorite dish? Do you have oh, one? Oh, God. That's all of them. All of them. <laughs> all yeah. of them. Linda, it's you got to see But us. mostly seafood. <laughs> I'd like to work all with seafood. Them. Yes. He loves Thank seafood. You. So tell me, Amant, what was the inspiration to open this restaurant? Well, uh, I've been doing this. I'm 36 years old. I've been doing mm -hmm. this, I would say, for almost 30 years old, back home. I'm Eastern European. I started there when I was seven years ago, washing dishes. And then when I became 22 years old, I decided to come here, visit my cousin. Came here. I loved it, what he does. Yeah. He used to own a restaurant. And I said, I can do this. Start working with him. Then step by step, I went through everything. Buzz boy, we call it a kitchen runner, waiter, a coffee guy, a dessert yeah. guy. I became a manager, general manager. And I used to be in Westchester County for years, and then we opened up another business in a new town, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. But being there for four or five years, I always kind of thought about coming back to Westchester County because I spent my 20s around here. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yes. I believe if we serve this community, what we serve in Newtown, they love it because I believe they don't have something 
around here. Sure. Like a lot of gluten-free dishes, right. like a lot of vegan dishes. Right. Our menu is, is around 75% gluten-free. Sure. We try to carry only the gluten-free. Sure. Sure. Around us. And uh, yes, and so far, people love it. Mm -hmm. They're coming back. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as you know, there's a lot of allergies about the gluten. Sure. So that's a reason why we're going a lot of gluten free. That's great. And also dairy free dairy as free. well, which yes. is very important. And what's lovely is you have this phenomenal ambience as part of it in a, a very lovely and upscale way. So what's the most popular dish on the menu? Uh, there are so many popular dishes that we have in there. One of them, I would say, is because Chef Graloni, he loves cooking everything, but his expertise, it's fish. Fish. So anything when it comes to the fish, really? it's delicious. One of the most popular one, it's as a fish, it's a bronzino. Mm -hmm. Then number two, I would say, is a John Dory, mm -hmm. which is a very delicious dish. Mm -hmm. Shellfish, the shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. We do it in a little bit in a modern way. Sure. He does it with uh, sure. jalapeno. Yes. Jalapeno grits, and he adds a little bit of marinated sweet chili peppers. And it comes just perfectly as an American modern dish. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Linda. So actually, jalapeno grits with shrimp. Yes. Oh, I have to be back to try that. More than welcome. Um, and I thought, I thought, Steve, that it was amazing about the swordfish, like I said, that you made. I've had swordfish many, t uh, many times over the time. It was always tough, and you have the ability to make it so tender like it should. Yes, yes. It's what we do, what we do, it's, uh, we try to keep fresh everything and we keep it fresh and we ch cook to the order. Mm -hmm. We don't cook stuff and leave it there. And that's mm -hmm. what uh, the most important, the fish need to be cooked mm -hmm. when the order is there. Sure. So, sure. We try to keep nice and fresh. And you and did. We try our best. And you did. You work hard to select the very special piece, right, that Thank you're going you. to cook, and it shows. Thank Many you. times, especially in present time as far as right now with farmed fish, it's so important that people know that you offer fresh fish, and that's your art, to present it in such an absolutely beautiful and, and phenomenal way. And also, um, your story, Amand, it's so inspirational, so, insp you. so inspirational that you, that you started and where you did um, from uh, your background, you're from uh, Kosovo. Kosovo. Yes. Right. And you started so young. Yes. And went through the steps. Everything. Wow. And I am, um, uh, everybody in my family pretty much uh, used to do something else. We never did the restaurant business, to be honest. Really? But I was the only one that I always wanted to finish the culinary school in Kosovo. Really? But then when oh. I came in here, I went over there. I went for just, for ju for just a year in college. Mm hmm. Uh, and that was in the capital of Kosovo called Pristina. And as I said, all of a sudden I came in here to visit my cousin. He was running a restaurant business, completely different world for me. And I loved it, what he was doing. Sure. And that's when I shot. And that's where you did. Exactly. And you went up the that's, level and, yes. uh, slowly, slowly. It took wow. Me, it took me almost 15 years. Wow. But, um, it's still, I have a lot of work to do and wow. learn. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, you ever take the time to say, wow, I hear nothing but wonderful raves about your other, restaurant in, uh, in Connecticut. And yes. Again, it has this amazing feel and ambience above and beyond. But at the same time, many restaurants that have healthy fare don't have that. And you have captured the ability to have this lovely ambience and Thank this you. upscale menu presented. And I always find that amazing chefs and amazing uh, people that own restaurants, it, cooking is an art. Cooking is an art, yes. And it's, it's obvious that's exactly what you show. Thank you. And also, yeah. I would like to bring up one more thing. Our red meat, steaks yes. that we buy, they're certified 100% black Angus beef. That's so good to know. So it's, yes. That's wonderful. Thank and you. I can't wait. I'm looking at this food, and as a nutritionist, but also I like to eat fresh and delicious. I can't wait for the crew and I to eat this phenomenal food because everything is it looks delicious. Thank you. What is this type of fish again? I, I don't, I it's don't. It's a mahi mahi. Oh, it's it is a, a mahi mahi. A yeah, which I indicated. Fish, so it's yes, yes, which I shared. Absolutely wonderful. It, it, everything looks uh, so delicious. And I, I never knew about the rainbow carrots before. Yes. And on the show, I'm here to show wonderful restaurants that have a beautiful, amazing way of presentation of healthy and nutritious treats in your community. Thank you so much for tuning in.
Hope to see you again. Take care.